Hello, 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 and welcome back to the Wandering Village. I'm Evie Greenbottle, and last episode, our Anbu was being quite the naughty Anbu. He thought he was making the decisions and calling all the shots, and he was just sleeping where he wanted, lying down where he wanted, and generally having a great disregard for what we wanted and thought was best for him, which did lead him to getting a bit more poison level again as he was just sleeping kind of wherever he wanted and making us hit two different storms and having a lot of buildings collapse, which was a bit of a waste of resources. But we are getting those back up again. Our stone slabs and our planks are all up because luckily we have found a few more villagers and we're about to find even more today. Now, we are just trying to get this iron furnace built and it's taking ages. Our villagers do not seem to want to bring things over there at all. Come on, we've got maxed out workers in the carpenter and stone cutter. We just need to get, bring these resources. Bring these over here, please. That's all we need. We've actually got enough saved up that we could just bring them over. I don't know what it is about everyone not coming over here. Oh, it's because I had locked it. How did I disable it? Oh my goodness. I bet you guys in the comment section last time you were like, uh, it's disabled. They're not going to be building it. It's disabled. Oh, how did that happen? Oh no. <laughs> okay. Well, today they're definitely going to build it because yeah, obviously we've been waiting and waiting and waiting, but they have as well. They're like, yeah, you want us to build that, but we can't because you've disabled it. So tough cookies. Tough cookies it was, wasn't it? Oh boy. All right, well, let's send another scavenger party out because we do have one kind of waiting in the wings. Be good to send them to the mines because we might get iron there. And we found the nomads. Of course, these were the ones who were poisoned. So two poisoned people and one healthy person joining our village, which is great. We've got a lot of people, 56 total villagers, but we've got housing for 60. So we're still good for a little while. Now, those three need a job. Where could we send them off to work? Why don't you come, someone come and work at the pharmacy and somebody come back and work in the Anbu kitchen. Actually, two of you can work in the Anbu kitchen because we have quite a lot of mushrooms again and not a lot of food stored, just one food stored. Now we are going through a cold snap, which is obviously not ideal. And we've got a throng, throng, a strong thunderstorm to worry about and navigate around. So we are going to have to keep a close eye on that. Now it is coming back. Ideally, it's going to go across. As soon as it goes across, we are entering the zone, which means we may need to get Anbu to run a little bit. Ooh, and our advanced funnel has been researched. So we are now working on researching a warehouse, which would be good because we've had our storages fill up a bit. People have been complaining there's nowhere to bring things. And the iron furnace is now built. Now, I think, best case, we need to get Anbu to run. He's not going to love it. He's already a bit tired and a bit hungry, but he's going to run right past this. Oh, not too fast, Anbu. Okay, good. We've made it. <laughs> and as soon as he gets past this, we can get him to go back to walking. And it looks like we're going to be heading into a jungle. No more choices to make. There's a waypoint here, but there's only one way ahead. So not great. All right, let's get Anbu to walk again. He is exhausted. Look at him. He is so tired. Right. Let's open the... Oh, the feeding tray Bichet is open. Oh, but Ambu's lying down. So we cannot feed him now, but at least he's out of the way of that. Now, he's going to be getting more poison because the ground poison here is medium. And I think it also means that people could be a poison on his back, but we've got a doctor. So it's not the end of the world. Now, I guess this we can't do anything with this at the moment. They say they're missing resources, but actually it's just because there's nothing they can do. But we can send an antidote off for Anbu because he's at 20% poison, oh, 21 now. That is going to be ticking up all the time, but we've got someone making more, which is helpful. And the warehouse, it said it was done being researched. No, oh, they're working on it. Never mind. I'm, I'm confused. Ooh, the Lost Woods. Dense fog covers the entrance, making it impossible to seek inside. Carefully, your scavengers take a few steps into it when suddenly an uplifting melody resounds from afar. Follow the melody or leave. I think let's follow the melody. Be brave. Oh, and they got 30 wood. Not exactly the resource we needed, but we'll take it. Someone else came back with seven iron ore, which is also great. And I guess we're going to be sending our parties off into... That one's already done. Two poison forests, I guess. We are going to have to go through that poison forest soon, but I think we'll be okay. We should be able to navigate it without any problem. 
Now, I just wanted to reach out to people. If you are watching this video and you're not currently subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button. It would massively help our channel out as we reach towards getting a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much. All right, let's see. Anbu, oh, they've come back with six iron ore. I don't know if there's anywhere else even to send them at the moment. That one's already scavenged. No, there's nothing. How close are we to being building this or not because the iron? Oh, we've got one person in here though. Could we get a second person to come work in here? Let's take one of these general workers out. Send them down there. We just need this iron to be coming in here so we can get the scout tower up and running. Right, Anbu is back to walking. He's quite hungry. So we're going to need to open this up, I think. A scavenger party returned, brought back 10 herbs, but two got poisoned during the adventure. Ooh, we've got a settlement over here. And you know what else? We are coming up to day 100. And in day 100 is usually about when you find a mysterious formation. So for those of you who don't know, this means we are approaching the end of the game. Now, we have to actually build the statue, which is going to take a lot more resources, resources that we don't even currently have, but we will be getting soon. And then we'll be moving on to an eight hostility challenge, which is going to be super fun, but super challenging. And it could be the first ever time that we don't make it. And we ourselves become a mysterious formation, which would be quite unfortunate. Right, our scavenger parties are out. We are hitting this big poison cloud though which means we need to open up the decontaminators and we're going to need to get this full. So I think let's quit the research for a minute and the sawmill can close for now. And what else could we close for now? Do you know what? I think this kitchen with the berries because we don't even have that many enough berries for them to make any more berry muesli. So let's close that for now. Keep that going. How many do you currently have? That's five, but it would be good to get some more doctors as well. Is two doctors going to be enough? You know, we've got 66 slabs. I think let's take some people out of here. Possibly put people back into our farms. We're heading straight into this poison forest and we're in a jungle biome, but I don't think we have to change anything. Everything should just be working at greater efficiency in a jungle biome. Now, Anbu is a bit hungry. We could feed him. Do we have someone working in the trebuchet? Yes, we do. We could feed Anbu there. Our warehouses also have been researched, so we can place a... Re a we can place a warehouse down. Where are we going to put it though? It's pretty massive. Maybe over here somewhere? Maybe over there. Right. We are now entering this giant poison forest. So poison is very high. If he were to lie down, we would also have very high, which would be bad because then we were just spending more time in here. We could make Anbu run, but I'm not too worried. I think we can just deal with it. And he's gonna sleep over here anyway somewhere on more poison ground. If we walk, we might be able to get him to go a bit further and hopefully find a sleeping spot, but we'll see. All right, we're definitely going to need to be looking. Yes, they're already coming in. Quite a lot of these poison spores on his back. But our decontaminators are heading out. They're wandering around. Oh boy, but it does feel like a lot of poison plants are on his back, which is not great. We'll see how they do. There's quite a few of them. And we've got our workers as general workers, nine of them, which is also quite good. Hopefully they can deal with it. Yes, they've already started. Well done, Jeremiah and whoever worked on that one. A few more to go. I love this view for this game. I just think it's so cool. There's another one. Yes, he's got that one. What about this one though? Why are you going? Where are you going? Potassia, come back. It would have been perfectly fine to get that one after. All right. Ooh, settlers. Wink. Yes, pick them up. Three healthy people and two hungry people. We've got quite a lot of poisoned villagers. Let's get one of our new people in as a doctor. And we are short on housing. I think it's time to put in our very first cottage. Right, a few scavenger parties are back. So we need to be looking to where to send them next. We definitely need to make sure we're getting all the iron we can because we're going to need quite a lot when we get to the mysterious formation. When our warehouse has already been constructed, which is great news. Now there is 250 spaces for all our resources in here. So we're going to have tons of space for the things that we need. Now, Anbu is looking pretty poisoned, so he's not hungry, though. We could close that down, actually. Let's give him an antidote. And I think close the feeding trebuchet for now. We don't need anyone working in there. And instead, you come work over here with the, in the mycologist. 
Right, people are not quite satisfied with anything they have in their lives, though. We are lacking on housing quality. We've got poisoned people. We've got badly poisoned people. Our food quality is even too low for them. The food variety is too low for them. And they don't have enough decorations yet again. So as their needs have increased, so has their decorating needs. They want more in terms of decorations. So we're going to have to put some of those things in. Now we are working not at the granary. We're working on the granary now. But after the granary, I believe we're working on decorations next, which would be great. Let's take a look around. I see quite a lot of decontaminators. There's one spot there. Oh, you're going to get that one. Ooh, we're back into the toxicity of high because we are at a dead on boo. A truly a sad sight. This could have been our fate as well, but we managed to pull through thanks to grit, cooperation, and not least of all, your guidance. We should build something to commemorate our continued survival, a monument to cooperation. It might even be a good opportunity to finally pass the torch of village leader to you once and for all. Excellent. All right. So, I mean, it's not excellent there. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's so sad. And now look how sad our Anbu is. Massively sad. Oh, poor Anbu. He's so sad looking at another sad Anbu. Now, of course, there's lots of toxicity here on our Anbu's back, which isn't great. He's getting more poisoned, but so are our villagers. They're currently bringing him an antidote. Our villagers are going to need one as well. Have they feel? It looks like they've gotten rid of all the poisony spores, though. So we may be able to keep that running, but close this. Let's at least lower it down so there's just one. And we'll keep that one going for now. Then they can bring over more biogas. Make sure this is filled up. Fold up? They can bring over more biogas. Make sure this is filled up. Although it is currently at 46. Actually, they only need four more for it to be filled. Ooh, you guys are bringing over some iron to turn those into blocks, which is great. Don't have any sand still. What are we missing? Oh, just one iron is missing from our scout tower. Oh, and it looks like Shayla is bringing it over, which is great. All right, they finished giving Anbu an antidote, but he still has 13% poison. But let's give him some pets, make sure he's nice and happy. And we have moved now away from that. Oh, look, there's a settlement over there got quite a few things where we'd like to get scavengers out and about to Ooh, our scout tower has been constructed and wow look at how much space there is now we can see oh we can see a shrine over there and a settlement i think we're going to want even one more of the scavenger huts our survival monument we need to be building that as well let's just take another one of these and stick it in and our survival monument now oh this seems like a perfect spot down here for that so if we put it here those cottages of well those huts over there get a benefit you know what or yeah let's put it actually let's put it here so that those cottages get it we'll get it right in the middle i'll we'll have to cut down all those trees to put that in all right we can send a party here i want to send a party there as well we need to get that other one built I think we need more parties now that we've got the scout tower and you can just see so far right i think we can close up the onbu doctor for a little while we don't really have anything that we want them to be doing oh a scavenger party has returned let's send them to the shrine this is going to help us make much more informed decisions about which direction to go as well we see a sleeping spot over there or a sleeping spot there as well but a poison forest on this side oh there's another shrine over there to get more knowledge would have been great if we could send people off to these fort ruins I definitely think with the scout tower, you do need more scavenger huts. Right, our Anbu's pretty tired. We are running very, very low on herbs. So now that we've had so many people be poisoned, I think we're going to need to get some more herbalists in here. Hopefully the one herb hut is going to be enough even. It's a bit concerning because we are down to just 39 herbs left, which definitely doesn't feel like a lot. And we still don't have enough housing. We need one of these to be prioritized. They've got everything in. It's just the iron that's missing. We've got the maximum number of workers in here, but we... This is very far for people to bring the iron ore down, I suppose. Okay, Anbu is very tired. He's probably going to have to sleep in the jungle before he even gets anywhere else. Yep, yeah, Anbu is now going to sit. He's going to take a nap in this spot, but our other scavenger hunt has been built. So we're going to need another employee to come and work in here. Now, we have so many beats. I might take someone out of there to come here. Ooh, and a scavenger party has returned with 15 stone. So we need to be sending them back out. Where are we going to go? 
that's two days away. That's really far. I don't want to say they want to be sending them to like places that are like that far away, but maybe we do. I don't know. We've got another party. You know what? We've got four parties. I think this is okay. We are out of stone slabs as well. So we've got two people working in both of them actually. So that should be ticking back up again. I guess there's just a lot to build. They're bringing all the wood planks and stone slabs into here. Plus we need 25 glass and 25 iron. Now we are not able to get any more glass at the moment. We need to find a desert as quick as possible to find more sand. It's the only way we're going to be able to get sand. And we currently have seven unemployed villagers. So let's take a look and see what it is that we need. Let's take another person in that farm. That is now full. People are working on the Anbu foods and there's two in each. Let's put another doctor back in actually because there's quite a lot of poisoned people, especially since Anbu's on the ground. We also have someone who's hungry, which doesn't make a lot. So we've got definitely the food for it. Let's open up the windmill and maybe put another person in this farm as well. Oh, and let's go back to opening this kitchen because we've got 17 berries. So a bit, a bit more variety in food if we get the berry muesli being made again. It'd be great to find an ocean. Oh, we could put someone back in the sawmill. Oh, and I think the decontaminator we no longer need. So we can close that one up completely. Let's make sure these are all... Oh, we forgot. We've closed these off. Right, we're going to need to steal a few workers. Giant tree. After walking through the magical looking woods, they arrive at a clearing. A magnificent tree is standing in its center. Let's grab our axes for plenty of quality wood. This tree must be a special one. It's better to cut the trees around it or this tree has a magical feel to it. We better leave. Um, it seems like a bad idea to cut the trees here. I mean, we could leave, but then we probably won't get anything. So let's cut the ones around it. While cutting on the trees, a sense of fear overcomes your scavengers. It's as if they could feel the trees frightened. They leave the place empty handed. Ah, oh, man. Okay, apparently we should have just left then. Right, Anbu's poison levels are getting quite high again. So we're going to need to reopen the doctor. I think let's temporarily close that as well. We're kind of low on herbs. So let's not make any more of those at the minute. Actually, could we switch to making... We can make antitoxins out of these mushrooms. We don't need the other. Let's switch that over for a second. You were waiting for the doctor. You work at a mycologist. I wonder if we're going to need a second herbalist. Ooh, something else. Oh, we encountered a group of settlers. Pick them up. Yes. Right, we've got quite a lot of people. Oh, we did manage to build one of the cottages, though, which is great. But now we have no more. Oh, the glass is already in, actually. So it's just a matter of getting the iron. So let's get those as priority over this. And where do we want to set off our scavengers? Maybe up there. And which direction are we going to want to go? That's another tough choice to be made. Do we want to head into the mountains or stick in the forest? Now, if we stay in the forest, we might, I don't know, I'm hoping like this feels like there could be an ocean or desert down here. Maybe, maybe not, but maybe it would be nice. We're up to 66 total people. Many of our villagers are poisoned though. Yeah, we've got 14 poisoned and three badly poisoned. We do have the herbs. Oh, and they are still coming in. Having maximum workers here is definitely going to be a good thing. But are the doctors working fast enough is the question. I think it might be a good idea to get Anbu to walk. Having that poison being high on the ground is definitely not helping. It's not helping our Anbu, but it's also not helping our villagers. This should be a lot better. It's now going to be low, the toxicity. I think that's what we needed. And there's going to be a sleeping spot for on. I mean, he's not even tired now. He's like basically was about to wake up himself. But there's two sleeping spots. Either direction we go, we're going to get a sleeping spot. A scavenger party returned with three more knowledge. That's great. Let's head. Hmm, where can we go next? What's kind of nearby? This is pretty close. It's one day away. We're getting closer to it. But hmm, but what way to go? I, I kind of feel it might be nice to go southeast. I'm hoping because there's water and sand here. Maybe there's going to be water and sand over here. Either one would be fine if we could find either the ocean or a desert. Both of those we haven't seen in quite a while, so that could be good. But we'll have to make that decision in the next episode because we are out of time for today. Now, if you're not already subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button because it would massively help out. And thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.